Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Monkey D. Dragon is an extremely powerful character. Now, although we don't know what his abilities are, or even if he has a devil fruit, it's still notable that his level of fame is because of the strength and the feats that he's been able to accomplish throughout the world. As a character with great significance to the story of One Piece, and having a great determination to change the world completely, whether it be destroying the world government or creating a new society through his organization that governs the world, Dragon is most likely to possess Conqueror's Hockey. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Dragon, how powerful this character might be, what skill he has, and the reasons that lead us to believe that he has one of the most powerful and rare hockey types in the whole of the One Piece universe. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like and even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it continues to motivate us to make more content. If you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, and consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, from very early on in our story, we've realized that Dragon is an extremely powerful character. Even if we haven't seen certain feats or battles during the work of One Piece, he still appeared in situations that were necessary to add important information about his character. In fact, there's only been one specific scene where we saw Dragon use his power, and that was against Smoker to prevent the Marine from capturing his son. With some mysterious power, Dragon seem to be able to create a huge wave of wind across an entire island. These incredibly strong winds were able to sweep all of the citizens out of the way while the Straw Hats were escaping from Buggy along with Alveda who were trying to take Luffy's life but still ended up failing miserably. In that moment where Dragon confronted Smoke, he was able to easily make him release Luffy. In addition to leaving Smoker completely surprised by Dragon's presence at that location. After this event, Dragon never seemed to demonstrate any powers or any other abilities again. Again. But from what we can observe and deduce throughout the story of One Piece, it's most likely that Dragon developed the very Dragon Claw fighting style that Sabo uses because he was the one responsible for teaching Sabo how to fight. So if this fighting style was developed by Dragon, he must have many more advanced ways to use it because he's got to be the one who mastered these extremely powerful techniques that Sabo just may not know how to use yet. One of the other signs that points to the fact that Dragon might be one of the most powerful characters happened during the Marine Inferno. This is when Luffy uses his his own Conqueror's Hockey, making everyone stunned that this young boy had this technique. Upon learning that Luffy was Dragon's son, Akainu became completely enraged and was determined to take the young pirate's life, just because he was Dragon's son, one of the most dangerous characters in the world of One Piece. The world government has even gone so far to call Dragon the world's worst criminal, and he is one of the most wanted people in the world, not only because of the great threat that he poses because of his individual skills, but also the fact that he has control over an army of revolutionaries at his command. So after seeing Luffy use hockey, learning that he was Dragon's son, Akainu expressed great anger towards Luffy, which symbolizes that Akainu knows how powerful Dragon is. Akainu might even fear that Luffy could eventually become as strong, if not stronger than his father, becoming a major threat to the Marines and even the world government in the near future. The visible surprise to see that Luffy possessed Conqueror's hockey must mean that Dragon also possesses the very same ability, but at a much more advanced level. Level, which makes this leader of the revolutionaries extremely powerful and extremely dangerous. There has also been a lot of discussion throughout the One Piece community that Dragon may in fact have a devil fruit that gives him control over the winds. Adding on Conqueror's Hockey on top of that, this makes the character not only extremely powerful and dangerous worldwide, this allows him to reach the level of that of a Yonko because of his incredibly powerful skills which even the Navy seems to fear. After Luffy told Emporio Ivanka that he was Dragon's son and Ace's brother, the Queen Okama greatly feared the possibility of Dragon joining Whitebeard in this battle at Marineford against the Navy. Had this occurred, this would have been a battle where two of the most powerful characters potentially in the world would come together to fight against the second largest organization in the world, the one that's responsible for hunting pirates, bandits, and revolutionaries. Now Ivankov knows Dragon quite well, so seeing Ivankov's fear of Dragon going to Marineford clearly demonstrates that the leader of the revolutionaries is powerful enough to do that. Ivankov was at Dragon's side from the very early age, so she knows all the skills and powers, knowing perfectly the level of Dragon, which lets her know that this would have caused a ton of destruction had he gone to Marineford. In fact, when Sengoku told everyone about his relationship with Luffy, most people were shocked, including Gekko Moria of the Seven Warlords of the Sea and members of Whitebeard's crew. Dragon's power and reputation are recognized worldwide. Many pirates and even sailors fear him because of the great danger he presents to the world. This also keeps the the admirals and even other
other important marines from hunting him. This very fact that admirals and other important marines won't hunt Dragon down demonstrates that he has got to be one of the most powerful characters in the world, possibly being second or even pretty much on even pace with a Yonko. And it's not only Dragon, but also the people that fight alongside him for the same cause that make Dragon all the stronger, making most pirate crews and marines have a huge fear of any unplanned encounter with Dragon or the revolutionaries. As of yet, we still don't know Dragon's bounty, or for that matter, even the vast majority of the powerful revolutionaries working alongside him, but it's most likely that his bounty has to be in the billions. And with a bounty like that, again, this makes him one of the most sought after individuals worldwide by the world government. But so far, no one has ever taken the opportunity to capture him because of his great strength, his skills, and his huge network of associates. Even his father Garp, who is a Marine, has never really seemed interested in capturing Dragon, something that he probably could have done in his prime. But now that Garp is weaker due to his older age, the chance of him being able to defeat Dragon now is pretty darn low. This means that really only an admiral would ever be able to provide an interesting fight with Dragon, and really would be the only one ever having a chance of capturing him, because they would need to analyze the weaknesses of this revolutionary leader. And because we still haven't seen Dragon ever use his power, or even have his powers confirmed, it means that as we go through these final events in our final arc of One Piece, we might actually get a glimpse, finally, after over 25 years, of what this character is really capable of. If we were treated to a match where we got to see exactly how powerful Dragon is, we'd get to see why his reputation alone was enough for Luffy to be branded as a potential danger in the future, and for Tomorrow Black to take advantage of impersonating Luffy. And going back to the incident involving Smoker, Dragon himself was able to grab Smoker's Jite as the Marine captain was preparing to use it on Luffy, quickly stopping him. And despite Dragon's high criminal status, Smoker was never seen making any effort to try and apprehend him. In fact, Smoker was completely terrified at the possibility of fighting the leader of the revolutionaries because of the great fame that he had. And even when Dragon's name is mentioned by some strong characters, we can see that they have true fear of thinking about Dragon's existence. In addition to that, Ivankov noted the ruthless will and drive that Luffy displayed in his battles in Impel Down, and he said that this made sense for a son of Dragon, indicating that Dragon has that similar level of tenacity. This alone demonstrates that Dragon's will to fight for freedom has to be as great as Luffy's desire to become King of the Pirates. No matter the situation, not even if it takes his life, these two characters will fight for their dreams at all costs. And as we stated before, even though we've seen things like in the Kingdom of Goa and in Logetown, where there's these strong gusts of wind that just so happen to occur when Dragon arrived, this might be one of those things that helps him achieve his objectives. And most people in the community have thought that Dragon is either directly responsible for these winds, or he has some power or weapon or tool that allows him to create these gusts. Taking that idea a little bit further, this still indicates that it's gotta be something he can do, and more precisely, is likely to come from a devil fruit, perhaps being a Logia or even a mythical Zoan with the ability to manipulate the winds. And this is because somehow, Dragon was able to reach Sabo's ship while it was sunk off the coast of Dawn Island, and still grab it before it sank without drawing any attention of any observers. This curious action further leads us to believe that there's a possibility that he can manipulate the winds to his favor, causing him to be able to create large gusts of air, and even making it possible to change the course of sea waves. So in conclusion, we absolutely can state that Dragon is an amazing character, although we really have never really explored him very well. But we hope that as we go towards the final bits of this saga of One Piece, that we will finally get to see this character in action, demonstrating his incredible powers and his advanced hockey techniques against a powerful enemy. So as we've been saying this a lot on our channel in recent videos, all we have left to do is to wait and see how these important events play out, and how Oda will treat us to the revelations of the powers and abilities that this amazing leader of the Revolutionary Army has, and how he begins to implement his plan to change the world. But with all that said, my friends, we'd now love to know what you think about it. What do you think this power of dragons is? Is it some kind of weapon or other ancient tool? Is it a devil fruit? Or is it something that manifests from his hockey in terms of manipulating the wind? Secondly, if it is a devil fruit, 
Do you think it's a Zoan, a Logia, or something we haven't even imagined yet? And finally, what do you think the motivation is behind Dragon's just desire to change the world? Is it like some people in the community have thought is that something happened between him and the world government, or perhaps something the world government did to Luffy's mother? Or is it something deeper and more insidious? Let us know what you think in the comments below. So as we wrap up our video for the day, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. Hope to see you all in our next video. Let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.